this little photo of mine. This is a 12 by 8 photo of a drawing I did a while ago with water-soluble graphite pencils. And then I took a photo of it and printed it on photo paper like this one. So here's actually the original. Unfortunately, when I did this one, I wasn't really recording YouTube videos yet. Mr. Colorful. Yeah, so that one up there, same thing. So that's already the, the, the photo I took of the original. And then I printed that one on canvas. And then I colored that with acrylic paints. Today, we're going to hand color this one. This is on photo paper, it's matte photo paper. This is either Fuji Archive or Kodak Endura, I forgot. Anyway, it works perfectly to use my Marshall photo oils on, which are over here. And I'm going to color it in a certain way. I don't know yet how. We'll just wing it when we start. But I'm going to use cotton rounds for the bigger areas and then Q-tips and ITs for the smaller detail work. So let's get started. So let's start with the larger surfaces again. I'm starting with the sky here. Adding sky blue. Which is the equivalent of a phthalo blue. At least it looks close to that to me with regular oil paints. Don't worry about the palms. I like to, the, the silhouettes. They're gonna stay that way. I'm not gonna color. I'm not going to color them. So I just go over them. I mean, I'm not going to color them a different color. To just cover them blue. Using a cotton round. clean side to smooth it out a little bit to this fewer brush strokes if any and then what I like to do too is to make it a little lighter towards the horizon Like that. And then for the, the surface of the water, I like to use different kind of blue. And this is navy blue, which, I've had on the, which I have on the palette here already. Underneath, I'll, I'll do that viridian, which is like an aquamarine.
guess I can do it here too. So I base this image on like two or three photos that I took when we were in Hawaii in 2017. And the turtle was actually completely underwater. So I made up this, this wave in the background here. But the way he or she was positioned, I really liked, I really liked that for, to create the scene you see here when, it, when it's like coming up for, for breathing. Like I call this image Honu Kahanu. Not sure if that's if I'm pron uh, pronouncing it right, but it means uh, green turtle breath. Okay, and then I like to add some yellow here. I do that with cadmium yellow and regular oil paint. This it's closest to um, like lemon yellow. There's also cadmium yellow, but that just looks different to me. Nice and bright. And it mixes, it's oil, so we're gonna mix a nice transition over here. See, I picked it up, it's fine. Kind of going with the colors the way I did it on canvas. And I will do this part, like the coral or like rocks. And let's take some cadmium orange. might ask why go through this why not when you when I did the original with, um, pencils why not color that one either with like pencils or pastels or watercolors oils anything well it's it's not just about the end result it's also how I get there and um, I guess for most artists that's the case um, I like sketching, drawing, and I like the hand coloring, so I thought, hey, this is also a nice combination of both. Or if you think it in more practical ways, it's like comparable to a silk screen, like I have a Massa original. And now I can color it different ways by hand coloring the photographs of that sketch. Okay, so I think some burnt sienna in between here and there will look good. No 
no right or wrong here. I can color this however I like. I know that the corals in, around Hawaii are not as colorful as other tropical destinations, but still a very pretty area. <clears throat> and I've seen uh, blue corals. Right now I'm just making this all up. Stick some carmine, which is a bright red. Which is which I also used when I did the oil on canvas piece. Oh wait, no, that was acrylics. I did it with acrylics. Ground, I'll put some cobalt violet. start on the turtle but I would like to clean it up a little bit first so with a q-tip I'm removing the excess paint My daughter and I went snorkeling in 2017 and this was the first serious snorkeling trip for my daughter and it was really fun to see her how she grew during that time like initially she was like holding on to me very carefully and a couple of days later when we went on a snorkeling tour to a particular bay she just let go and was like totally free and enjoying herself and this photo here, she was she said she was photobombing me. Okay, that's good enough. Let's start with the snow. I'm going to do that with um, oxide green, which in regular oil paint I think is closest to cadmium green pale. Then I'll take cadmium yellow. Also 
so mix it in with the green. This is a little too much, so I take a clean one and remove some of that yellow. And then what I like to do is I like to take a so-called IT, very pointy Q-tips and remove some of the darkest areas because this, it actually lightens up the darkest areas. This paint is not like 100% transparent, but I like to retain that contrast. So let's move on to the rest of the turtle. flippers Now we go back to yellow, and again with a Q-tip add some yellow here and there. Also changing that green a little bit. And then I'm going to do some like warmer colors on the front. Oranges, brown sienna, maybe some of that red. Not necessarily going for reality here. Let's mix 
because I'm more beyond burnt sienna. adding it here and there. Okay, the piece is ready. It's right here. Unfortunately, I stuck it, well, I did that on purpose. So I glue it through this paper so it doesn't move in front of the camera, but it actually got stuck really nicely and I cannot get it off. Anyway, this is it, it's done. And if you like it, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Bye.